everyone it's Yvonne here to do the reading for the lovely sign of Libra so thank you you Libras I know that there are a lot of you that support my channel and I know I've read for you a lot of you for, for personal readings too so thank you for your support and love and for all the other people that support me and send beautiful messages I really do appreciate it um, before I get into the reading I love to do my little blurb on making sure that you understand that Libra is only one aspect of your natal chart so when we identify as a Libra it's usually because we have a Libra sun some people like me and my partner both have Libra moons which means that there's a very different um, relationship between the two of us because we both have the same moon um, you could have Libra at any other place in your chart and still find it's relevant to you when you watch certain readings. People used to say to me, you know what, I just watched a, you know, an Aquarius reading and I'm a Scorpio. I thought it was the Scorpio reading, but it was my reading. That is because you more than likely have that somewhere in your chart. So if you're really interested in finding out more about astrology, very easy. Just whip over to Google and put in natal chart or birth chart. Cafe Astrology um, will give you a report with all your basic stuff in it, but it will show you where the planets are when you're born. Now, please keep in mind if you don't have your time of birth, then sometimes that means you can't get your ascendant. Um, however, I mean, they can still generally give you something in, in place of that, but you may have to go to somebody who can work that out for you. Um, but if you have a general idea, you can probably do it yourself. So if your family tell you you were born, you know, just after midnight, for example, then you can put different times in and see which star sign really aligns with who you are. It, it, I mean, you'd have to be really... Um, involved in doing that but it's a possibility or you can pay someone to do it for you but anyway so Libra lots of placements in your chart and Libra is only one aspect all right now a couple of other things I want to go through I am still offering personal readings my website isn't open at the moment I'm sort of on the verge of thinking should I bring it open again um, but I sort of let it go for a little while while I was working so I didn't think it was worth um, you know investing in the money in it at the time but it may come up again where you can book and pay yourself however if you are interested in a personal reading with me you can email me at the Aussie goddess at gmail.com and I will send you um, what sort of readings I have available and costs and everything um, I think once my website goes up I'm going to increase the costs I've had them the same for maybe three or four years now so um, it probably is time I give myself a revamp but anyway so that's there for you the other thing that is available to you now if you're interested I already have quite a few videos up on uh, reading the tarot so um, I started that in the beginning I do want to do some classes I'm hoping I can get some members together and see how that goes um, if not I will do one-on-one -on -one sessions with you to do that it is better if you're doing it with other people though because you can actually read for each other and it is so I don't even know how to explain it it's so exhilarating because you get the answers straight away and people will be honest with you whether things resonate or if they don't how they do resonate so it's really good to read for each other anyway let's get into your reading we're going to use the handsome Robert Dex for your reading today Okay, so we have the Page of Swords coming out. So the pages are messengers. That's what they're about. Sometimes we can see them as being young people or children in a reading when it's personal. But the basic meaning of a page is messaging. Um, it can be with the Ace of with the sorry with the Sword. I don't know why I'm saying the Ace of Swords, but with the Sword, the page is clearly communicating something to you. You're about to get some sort of communication message, something like that that will bring clarity to you. Um, sometimes when somebody um, emails something, and it has you know, maybe an answer for you. Like, if, for example, if you're waiting for a job and you get that email to say that you've been put on a list or that you're not successful, there's the clarity about that job. The other thing that the Page of Swords very often does for me is it sort of makes me feel like you're researching something. So say, for example, you were trying to find out about something. You could be stalking. 
I hope you're not doing it in an illegal fashion. But, you know, if you're checking up on something or trying to find something out about something, sometimes the page of swords will come forward then too. So there is a three of um, wands here. So, you know, it could be that you're researching something for the future, maybe a holiday, um, maybe some sort of getaway here. Um, oh my goodness, I can see Greece. All right, let's just keep going here. There's a brand new beginning here with the full card. You're taking a leap of faith at something. Um, okay, all right. So I feel like you've tried to manifest something. You're trying to manifest something and you're, you're also maybe putting some things into place to really see if you're in the right direction for it. To me, this feels like some sort of self-improvement for the future. So you could be looking at um, expanding your awareness, doing a course in something in particular. You could be working on your self-esteem or your confidence. But to me, this feels like you're putting a lot of effort into yourself at the moment. Um, and I feel like you're sort of maybe trying to work out the direction you want to go in. For example, you might want to do a particular course, um, but it feels really self about yourself, about self-improvement. You could be doing a course in regards to, you know, uh, refining your knowledge, um, being able to change what you're doing in terms of your work as well. But there's a feeling that you're doing something here to try and improve yourself on some level. So let's just have a look. Oh, look, Nine of Cups coming straight out. Now, sometimes I do these readings and the very similar energies come through as what's in the What's Cracking reading. This is a little bit different, but the Nine of Cups did come up there as well. So there's some sort of wish being granted to you, some sort of something you've wanted that you want to work towards that you're going to be very successful at, but you've put it off for some reason. Let's just pull a few more cards. There's the Judgment card. There's the Chariot. So very similar cards to the What's Cracking Different deck. Knight of Swords coming through here. You're taking action on something here. You've been sitting around for a while trying to work out how to move forward. For me, this is the energy of completion of something, a new beginning. Um, but it's been really hard to get yourself motivated on. You know, for some of you, it might be sort of getting out there again you know, in terms of love or relationships. Maybe you've sort of had a period of time where you've sort of laid low and now you're sort of ready to get up and get going at something. Oh, look at this Pisces energy coming through here. So I have Cancer energy as well coming through, Four of Pentacles. Have you recently, yeah, there's the Hermit Virgo energy. Looking very, very closely at that Four of Pentacles, the Hermit is. Okay, so I feel like something you've been either holding back on, holding on to, or trying to find some way to move forward. It's like you've got with this judgment card and this nine of cups, like you've got a new lease of life on something. So if you've been holding back because you've had something happen in the past here that you've found very difficult to let go of, and because of that, moving forward has been particularly hard for you. And I feel like here, you are trying to understand how to move forward, how to let go, how to move forward, but you're researching it. And it sort of reminds me a little bit of, you know, when you when you have had something happen, but you don't quite understand why it's happened. And then you might research that to sort of get a better idea of whether it is something to do with, you know, the way you see your world. So you might do some courses in improving your self-esteem or as I said if it is something to do with work and you've been stuck in a job for a long time then it may be about re-educating yourself. I feel like for some of you here it's about love. Three of pentacles coming out again there too. All right and the ten of wands at the end. There is something here, king of swords I love it, there is something here that you are completing. So if you've been through a hard time with something, you've had a relationship that's gone south, you've maybe broken up with somebody, maybe somebody has left you behind or ghosted you, whatever it is here, you've got some sort of rebirth coming through. So what I mean is you may wake up in the very near future and you may have already done that in the very recent past. And it's almost like you wake up and you think, that's it. 
I've done my grief. I've done my mourning. I've, you know, I, I'm ready to leave this behind and move forward. And you're exhilarated and ready to start something new here. And I see you trying to work out the direction it is you want to go in. So is it about finding new love? Because I definitely have an energy here that perhaps new love is on the agenda for you, especially with that wish card sitting here. And I do have Libra Gemini Aquarius energy coming through, but I feel that that is your energy. It's like you are so pumped and so ready to take something on here that you're sort of like chomping at the bit to get out of the gate. So there is something here that you are about to review look at from a completely different perspective whatever it is i feel like it's time with that three of pentacles so it could be i mean it could be starting up a new business but this feels more like you know um it, like closing something off and completely leaving something behind and it could be a pisces um but whatever this is it's sort of like it's time to move it's time to go Let's just have a look. So I feel like you're researching something. You're looking towards the future. Maybe you've been really looking back at the past and you finally got how to look forward. I do see a brand new beginning coming here after a period of seclusion. Um, there is sort of an offer in your future here that is aligned with your destiny. But maybe you've sort of been, yeah, I sort of feel this one here especially. Maybe you've just been finding it really difficult to move forward or really difficult to take the next step. Oop, nine of Pentacles. You're just about to step into your own. You're about to step into your own space and take something on that you've wanted. I feel like for some of you, it may be something really like out there, something that you may have thought about a long time ago, but maybe you just weren't ready for. And that's what makes me think for some of you, this might be about letting the past go letting past relationships go and sort of approaching something from a different perspective or a different mindset and i feel wholeheartedly for some of you it might be a relationship that didn't work out and you've been doing some resting some recuperation and i feel like you're ready to go now i feel like you're totally ready to go all right, so we have big beginnings. We have East again. Now, I remember reading this a couple of days ago for somebody, but this is brand new beginnings. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're just wanting to get out of your own way and do something wonderful and amazing. Maybe it was that book that you've been thinking about. Maybe it's that new job. Maybe it is that career. Maybe it is that uni degree, but something you've always wanted to do, you're going for worry not a new dawn is breaking let go of the old and embrace the new flow forward without heaviness or anxiety new ways of being are called to calling to you speak up with a clear voice and don't resist change so whatever this is something pretty amazing is coming in your direction i as i said i'm not really sure what it is because the energies just sort of make me feel like i want to burst out of my shell i want to break out of my shell and i think whatever it is you've taken time to really rest up heal whatever but it's that feeling of jumping out in the bed in the morning and going you know what today's the day so if it isn't today it will be very soon all right much love libra um tomorrow will be scorpio reading thank you